Hey everyone, today we will talk about how to design a microblogging platform. So let's get started. Let's talk about functional requirements quickly. A user should be able to post some content with some optional media attached to it. A user should be able to search another user or any other post on the platform. System should be able to show relevant post to a user when he lands on the home page a user should be able to view another user's profile and their recent post a user should be able to follow other users and should be able to see their new number of followers and following user should be able to like comment repost on a particular existing post we should be able to see last seven days top x post also based on number of likes comments or repost okay now let's talk about the non-functional requirements the system should be having a very low latency also the system should be highly available now let's talk about the design so let's say users are connected to user side api gateway let's say there's a service uh, which is responsible for creating a post uh, primarily or reposting a particular existing post. So this service primarily uh, has a database uh, which contains the mapping of post ID, user ID, post content, the media content CDN URL. Uh, also, if this is a repost particularly then we should have the parent id map to it also so optional repost id and at what time this post was created primarily so post created epoch okay so when this person uh, creates a post and um, submit the same right so the content mapping goes into this metadata db while the media gets stored in the particular blob storage so we can have multiple blob storage uh, depending on the type of content whether it's an image or video which gets pulled by cdn later okay so that's where we are keeping the media cdn url mapping in the database so that uh, for every post we have the mapping what was the media content which is publicly available via cdn cool now let's talk about two more services uh, one is like service, the other is comment service. So for like service, we can have a database where we can have a mapping of which user liked which post, okay? So uh, the liked by this particular user ID and which post was liked primarily. And similarly for the content, uh, sorry, comment, we can have comment ID, uh, which post it was uh, commented and by which user, so user id post id comment id and in case it's a nested comment we should also have the mapping of what was the parent comment id and what time uh, this comment was posted so comment epoch okay now there's a very interesting stuff so whenever a like and comment happens uh, on any post right we should be able to maintain the count of number of likes and comments in the metadata db so that's where we are primarily trying to publish an event uh, by like service and comment service saying there's a new like or new comment in the system which gets consumed by some service it could be a post service also it could be some other service also which uh, takes care of primarily uh, i mean incrementing the like count and the comment count in the metadata db cool now there's a user service let's say where we may have a mapping of uh, user ID, their first name, last name, date of birth, email, phone number, which country they belong to. Uh, also, we can have some sort of last seen date when they were online on the platform. Okay. And next, let's move to the next service, uh, follow service. And here we are having a mapping of uh, which user is following to which another user okay so we are primarily having a mapping of follower user id and follow e user id okay also again 
uh, every time a person follows or unfollows okay we can push the similar uh, uh, event to a message queue which gets consumed by user service and we can have follower count and following count mapped uh, to this user uh, account primarily so that whenever a particular user wants to look at his profile he can see how many users are following him and how many you how many uh, uh, users are there which is being followed by this guy okay cool now there's one more service which is a search service okay how search service works primarily every time a post happens or every time a user joins the platform uh, we publish a, a message into a message queue saying there's a new post or new repost similarly there's a new user which has signed up uh, into the platform so that this data can be consumed by a search consumer service which populates the reverse indexes uh, in user and post search db and primarily every time a user wants to search for a particular user by first name last name or let's say user handle or uh, let's say this user wants to search any post they will primarily type the keywords and they will uh, this will get uh, get called by uh, the search service and search service will be able to give the results immediately okay cool now there is a concept of creating home timeline so whenever a user lands on home page how we are going to generate the feed okay so in order to generate the feed uh, doing join uh, on all the people who have been followed by this guy and looking at what have been posted so far then creating a mix of all these feeds will be uh, a time consuming job uh, at uh, real time okay so this is something where we can do uh, this job in two parts so let's say uh, for active users so active users means a person who has been active on this platform uh, let's say in the last two weeks okay probably we can pre-compute uh, the home timeline for them in cash so whenever they come uh, next time within the 15 minute uh, rolling window uh, rather computing this information for them we have pre-computed this into cash and they can look at the timeline uh, very quickly while for inactive users so the users which have not been active in on the platform in the last 15 days uh, the home timeline service will primarily uh, call follow service to understand what all users uh, have been followed by uh, this particular guy what uh, these guys have posted so far and then uh, i mean in order to understand what all been posted it calls post service and does a join and sends this data uh, to this user i mean serve this data as a as a home timeline to this user cool now we can also have a trend service where each time a post uh, or repost happens on the platform uh, trend service consumes this to maintain top k trends uh, in the last uh, week or last 15 days let's say uh, geography wise and we can have this maintained in the cache so every time a user joins uh, every time a user uh, login on this platform we would be able to show what has what are the top k post which are trending in the last 15 days rolling window uh, geography wise okay geo specific primarily so for india for us for uk we can have different trends primarily. cool and lastly uh, profile timeline service is something which can be powered by search service okay so this is how our final design looks like cool so hope you like this video please like share and subscribe also feel free to comment if you have any questions thanks